Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm making a quick and simple table saw sled. Now I actually own a bigger version, but this one is supposed to be right here next to the table saw so I can grab it at ease. Now, because I lack space in my shop, everything has a spot, but then there's always something in front of that spot. And if some of you guys remember, I had a rigid table saw, which I still have, but it's at a friend house. I made a setup for that one, but I used a miter gauge on that. So I let that one go with the table saw as well. For this project, we're gonna do something very similar, but also a little different. And like always, you can find a complete list of material used down in the video description. I got started by ripping down the base of the fence. Then I went on to cutting the width of it. And while the table saw was already set up, I also ripped another sheet and this is gonna be cut down for the fence. On the sled, I'm gonna have a stop and that's gonna be riding along the T-track. So to cut the T-track into the sled base, I'm gonna lower the saw blade to the height of the track. As I was making these adjustments, I noticed that I was triggering the sensor in a table saw. This table saw is actually designed to be the safest table saw you can get. And I could bypass this safety feature, but I really don't like messing with it because I don't want to forget to turn it back on. This video is not sponsored. It's more like a heads up if you happen to own one of these. Now that I'm on to cutting out the slack for the T-Track, you can route this out. But by the time you pull out a router, switch the blade, adjust the depth, all that, I can be done ripping this on a table saw. Now I'm gonna work on a stop block for the sled. Now this piece will be glued to the front of the stop block, which would also help keep it square. To make the fence a little more rigid, I'm gonna double up on that by sandwiching two pieces of plywood together. To finalize this, I'm gonna attach the base to the fence. After gluing up the joint, I then add a few nails in it to prevent the plywood from shifting when I put clamps on. And while the glue is still wet, I wanna make sure that it is square before I move on. Now I wanna make sure that the miter gauge is square to the blade. And once everything looks true, I can then mark the screw holes for the sled. Having this in close proximity to the table saw, I think it's gonna get used a lot. And with that in mind, I added threaded inserts. Not all table saws come with a good miter gauge. In that case, you can make a miter bar out of wood. Now after tightening this up, I'm gonna make the first cut right into the sled. You may also notice I don't have the T-Track in its slot. I manually cut those down so I can put those in individually. And now it's a pretty good time to go ahead and build a stop block. I also drilled a hole for the T-bolt, allowing this to slide back and forth on the T-track. I gave it a quick sanding job to remove all my pencil mark, round over the edge, and make sure there's no splinters left in it. To wrap this up, I put on two coats of shellac and sand in between each coat. Now I do suspect that majority of the pieces that's gonna be cut on here aren't gonna be massive pieces. So I think having a measuring tape in place is gonna be a huge help. This come in two different configurations, so when I'm looking at it, it's gonna make sense, and this one is the right to left. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way the sled came out. It was a quick build, get the job done. The only thing I would change is the location of the T-Track. I feel like it would be a little better if it was closer toward the center. So that is it for this one. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for all the future shop projects and DIY builds.